Uh, today we're going to be talking about RSS. Uh, if you ever seen this icon around the web somewhere and you're like, what is that orange thingy? You know, it's all over. What is that thing? Well, that's actually an RSS icon. And the purpose of that icon is to make your life a lot easier for browsing the web and save you a lot of time. Uh, let me go ahead and explain. But first of all, what I want to explain is there is a debate what it stands for, but most go by really simple syndication. Um, and the key word is simplicity, you know. Um, one thing we do as like technology age uh, is we want information. We want to read information, we want it now. And so what's the best way of getting it now? For example, uh, logo design love, okay. Let's say I, I go to the site every day, but he doesn't update his site every day. Let's say he updates it every few days when he's, because he travels a lot whenever he can, okay. So if I just go onto this site and he didn't update it, uh, wouldn't it be a waste of time? And time is precious, right? Uh, we always have the complaint, I don't have time. So it's just a waste of time. So one way to, and then let's say I have a bunch of, uh, I first of all, every day I check that one. Then I go and check this one. And then let's say he didn't update it. And then I go to like CNN. And then yeah, of course CNN uh, av uh, updates their sites all the time, so no problem. But what if I told you that there was a way that you could go to one place and it would suck in all the content for the websites that you often visit? Wouldn't that be like, wow, you would be a winner. Well, I'm about to be a winner because I'm going to show you how to do it. There's a lot of different uh, tools that you can use. Um, I preferably you like to use um, Google Reader. And if you go up into your uh, Google, if, like, if you sign into Gmail, and on the top you'll see it says Reader. Where is that Reader? even more let me check reader 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 where are you reader <laughs> oh it's right there all right so I just click on reader okay and then um, it basically shows you um, some information about the websites that you commonly look at um, but I'm not gonna show you reader today um, now as you notice uh, well let me go back to love designs now whenever I first go to a website I look for the orange icon that I showed you before right so this icon now I don't see that icon right away so I usually hit like com control or command F and then search for uh, RSS okay and boom it found RSS right there for me so then I'll click RSS and then it says choose my reader when I'm at home I always choose Google Reader but um, we're gonna use NetVibes today. NetVibes has its own strengths, and so there we go. So uh, NetVibes, and you may ask, what is a NetVibe? Oh, I'm glad you asked that. Okay, um, a NetVibe is an easy way to read blogs or websites with articles. So you notice I've added a few articles here, and basically each each of these lines. Okay, and this was done by one of my students. Each of these lines is a new article that is um, entered in. Now, if this was like CNN, maybe there'd be one on um, like the chaos in Bangkok, Thailand. Or maybe one would be about the elections in another part of the country. Maybe another would be about global warming that's happening. So, as you can see, um, like if I go to CNN, um, one thing I don't like about it is. Uh, there's ads like I really don't like ads okay and you would think it's a new site there shouldn't be ads and yeah right now there's not but boom okay okay here's an icon ad right there and whatever that is I thought there's more ads on CNN but maybe not maybe I'm thinking about another one all right but you get the idea. Um, some sites have a lot of ads, and so that basically cuts out the ads. So um, what you can do is go to netvibes.com, okay, netvibes.com, and sign up for a free account and activate the account. Once you've activated the account, you'll have a general tab with a bunch of stuff. Like they'll they'll probably just load you a bunch of stuff, and you can see what it looks like. Maybe something like this, you know. And this guy, he actually 
Um, like I showed you one that's more for blogs that you can design. Here's one where he is more social. Like here's his Facebook stuff, here's his twi tweets, here's his pictures that he uploaded and last FM stuff and his blog over here and MSN Messenger and Skype if he's online and his LinkedIn is right here. So he's, and the slideshows, he's pretty networked. He's good to go, actually friend feed. So that's one way you can use it, more for social. But I'm going to show you guys how to use it more for blogs for reading. So I encourage you to, for general, yeah, make it personal in your own. But add a new tab, and we're going to call this blogs I follow. Okay? And then we're going to add it to the blog. So here, okay, um, we're going to go ahead and when I, so remember, we went to the logo design love and we clicked on RSS and then subscribe with net vibes. Yup. And then I'm going to choose, um, let's see mouse flip. Okay. That's my username. So I'm going to add that to it. Okay. So after you add the blog, it'll show up like this. Keep in mind that you may go to a site, click on the RSS feed, but you can find net vibes. Uh, don't be alarmed, it's just not available for that site. F go look for another site, it'll probably be there. Bummer. So once you've added your uh, blogs that you want to follow, and do remember you don't have to just, just do blogs. You can add content and there's a lot of content that you can add. See all these widgets? Widgets are basically like there's a countdown, radio stuff, iMeter, Facebook. Widgets are just like a component that you can insert in there and it doesn't have to be a feed. But for this case, we're gonna use feeds only, like blog feeds. So um, what you're gonna do is we wanna make sure it's public. So um, you wanna go into your dashboard, okay? And then click on blogs I follow. And then also click on manage. Okay, in this um, dashboard, you'll see your username and what you want to do is make sure your your public page is enabled for public and then um, you can hit save changes if it's not and change that and then what you're gonna do is go back to your account uh, if we can go back back to dashboard top left um, notice on the link it says private pages okay if we copy this link and paste it for someone to go to, it, they won't, they can't get to it because it's a private page. So the best thing to do is sign out of it and then see netvibes.com. Just go ahead and type in your username after that. And then this is our public page that people uh, see. And then you can choose the tab that you want people to see which blogs that you follow. So then you can copy that link and then paste that into whatever you need to for a link to this uh, page so people can see hey what kind of blogs does this guy read um, so again use RSS and again you can use it with NetVibes and uh, Google Reader and other platforms but it does like make life a lot easier because all you have to do is like either hover over something to see what it is or like in Google Reader it actually just it shows <laughs> all the content even pictures if there's pictures in there. So make your life easier.